Davis Sturgis, the tussle with no muscle. Let's see how they stack up in the tail of the tape. In the wireframe glasses, the Eureka from Topeka, Grant Linkletter. IQ 159, papers published 272, bedtime 830. And his opponent, in his favorite sensible shoes, the brain from Maine, John Burgess Sturgis. IQ 162, papers published 221. Bedtime, 7.45 on weekdays, 9 on Saturday night. Fasten your thinking caps and let's get it on! The free streaming length of the axion is too long. It'll erase the fluctuations. You're completely forgetting that it is non-relativistic dark matter. You'll never have the resolution to see microkelvin features. I think your brain is as smooth as the top of your head. Low blow, Grant. He's right, gentlemen. Let's keep it to science. You'll never have the resolution to see microkelvin features. What's this formula? This wasn't here yesterday. Dr. Linkletter added it after you left. Was he trying to be funny? He was giggling at your feeble-minded math, his words. He's trying to approximate the cosmic background radiation by setting it at one Rydberg over Z, and my math is feeble-minded? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm changing the estimate to Robert Dickey's value of 45 Kelvin. I was in here the last time we went off his rocker. Is this what it looked like? I'm perfectly sane, and I'm telling you Dickey's estimate is the way to go. And I'm telling you we need to use one Rydberg over Z, and that is final. Oh, is it? You albino beanpole! Dr. Sturgis. He impugned my mental stability. Fair enough. Your insult stands. Thank you, beanpole. You're wasting valuable time. I'm not. You are. Gentlemen, if we could please keep this train on the tracks. We'll be on track if we follow my plan, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist. Insist? You're not the alpha dog around here. I agree. This may be hard for both of you to hear, but President Hagemeyer put me in charge. I know for a fact that isn't true because she put me in charge. We may have a problem. What can I say? I tried something. <laughs> So you really thought you could tell us we were all in charge and we wouldn't figure it out? Well, in my defense, I said to each of you, let's keep this between us. And I'm a little disappointed that you broke my trust. That is true. We're sorry. Don't apologize for that. We were being manipulated. You were the one who blabbed first. That's because you kept slowing us down with your outmoded ideas. Gentlemen, if we could just follow my plan, do you think? No. Know? Well, I hope that you're starting to see the challenge I face putting any of you in charge. You're right, we're sorry. Stop that. Sorry. Well, we can't move forward until a project leader is chosen. He's right, I'll do it. You're a child. You're a child. Now you're all children. Sorry. Sorry. Well, who's it gonna be? Gentlemen, I'm Dr. Carol Lee, director of the New Experimental Cosmology Center. What makes you qualified to lead our project? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have a PhD in physics from Berkeley. I worked at IBM's Watson Research Center as lead of the materials research group. And I raised three little boys, which I understand you've been acting like. Sounds like she can handle it.